617 now, uh, Julian Asibe joining us this morning, assistant uh, basketball coach for MSU Women's Basketball. I'm going to throw a number at you here that I think is super staggering. 292. That's how many points the, the team has scored in the last three games. Yeah, yeah it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> They're kind of clicking along, coach. It's been, uh, the, the last two weeks has been really exciting. Our last trip out to Idaho State and Weber, uh, we found something. I think the team kind of found something. I think we kind of got to that we're in February and it's time to make a run. And they've been sharing the ball and the ball has been moving. Uh, we got a phrase right now, the ball has energy. Mm -hmm. And when the ball has energy, everybody feels pretty good. And right now everybody's touching it. And emotion too. I mean, we saw that uh, in the post game coming from the, uh, the, the win, clinching at least a share of the conference title uh, for, for your team. Uh, the emotion was this. this is, it's personal for this team, isn't it? Yeah, you know, we, again, I think the last time I was here, I talked about our five seniors and mm -hmm. um, the work that they've put in and the foundation that they've built. And we have young kids that are contributing right now. So there's a, there's a nice little gap between both senior and freshman. And then we've got the in-between and, mm -hmm. and the relationship that this team has, uh, it's real. You know, it's not just a, a, a collection of young ladies. It's real. They care and they're about each other. And, and you, you saw that at the end of that game against the Grizz. Mm -hmm. And when they also found out that, they had clinched a share of the conference title. I think uh, it was really raw and, and real. The, the thing that I love to see about this, too, is, is, I mean, it's work, and they're putting in the time, and they're doing all of that, but they're having fun. It's still a game, and they're enjoying each other's company out on the floor, and, I mean, they're into it. I don't know how else to word it. it, it, it that's really true. I think uh, the staff talks about it when we're on the road um, and when we're at dinner. Mm. The, the energy that's around the dinner table with 15 to 20 people at a dinner table is, is fun to watch. And sometimes as staff, we just sit back and go, this is not, this is not normal, mm -hmm. it's not usual. And, and this, this group really enjoys being around each other. And it's a lot of fun to be around. There's still some work to do. We've got a few more games to go before you guys uh, head out for a conference tournament. Yeah, you know, we have four games left, um, two at home uh, this week. And um, we can clinch it outright as a uh, conference champions uh, tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. uh, when we play Sac State, which is also a really cool event. Uh, we have the Missing and Murdered Indigenous People event that we're having. So if you're coming, wear red. Um, I think that's going to be really cool to do that and in involve our community. Mm -hmm. And then we, we got Senior Night on Saturday. It's also um, Women in Sports Day, too. So there's a lot going on these next two games. And I think it's going to be pretty fun for our community to come out and support these young ladies because they're doing amazing things. And we've talked about it all season long. That community support is, is a factor. The, 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 the group is doing the work, but it helps to have that home crowd advantage. Oh, uh, even Saturday was, was a, a huge example of what that means to our young ladies. Uh, when, as we, when we played in Missoula, uh, it, we, it took us a while to get going. And on Saturday, uh, from, from the tip, it was, it was on, the, the place was rocking. And every shot we hit, I felt like I was going to lose my earring. So. Um, <laughs> It was fantastic, and uh, we really appreciate it. And I think the, the community has really bought into this team and it's, getting a lot, it's become a lot of fun. That's fantastic. 7 o'clock tomorrow, wear red. Yeah, wear red. Come up, uh, support them as you take on Sac State. And then on uh, Saturday, it's Northern Arizona, 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock. And, uh, and, and the great thing is all the tickets are $5, so get out there and, and come watch. Oh, you can't beat that with a stick. That's fantastic. No. Julian Asibe joining us this morning. Uh, thanks for checking in with us. Uh, we you. appreciate it very much. Good luck. Appreciate Have a good it, time. Thank Next you. couple of games. There's Thank more you. work to do. Uh, there's more work for us to do, too. We're going to take a quick break. Matt's going to come back and do it uh, with his weather forecast.